guys I don't know how that I didn't miss this and I was done past it it's right there in the shadow of my leg I don't know what made me even look back Should look probably the best piece I found today and just about walk past it that's a nice one there it's about two and seven eight two and three quarter well, that's a pretty piece well made too well I wouldn't have never known about it I don't guess well that's mine now glad to find it we'll get back with you all right, guys, I've walked about three steps. I walked up on this thing right here. I believe he's all there. Got a little bit of a tip or it's rounded one, I can't tell. That sweet little piece. About two inches. All right, off here. All right, I may have a small piece down here. Broke. Can't tell if it's broke or not. Yeah, it may be. Anyway, there he is. Y'all know how it is. You just uh, flake, flake, broke. Flake, flake, broke. And all of a sudden it's flake, flake. What a blade. Mm, just perfect. Well, it's a nice artifact. Over three inches of it. I'll take that thing. But they've done some cutting with that. Let's keep looking. Got a little while longer. Hey guys, look at this little baby. That sweet. That's a pretty good piece. Sure, I'm glad to find him. Yep. Got a little while longer. I'm off here. Right, I'm back. There's a pretty good sized piece. I don't know if the tip's there or not. We're gonna find out. Nah, don't gun it. It's worked off into a blunt type deal. Pretty good size. All right, I'm off here. I walked up on another little beauty. I'm running out of light, so I'll get these cleaned up. Pretty good little piece. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we're back again. Check out that tip right there. Boy, let's just hope the back ends there. Oh, what's going on in there? Oh Lord, please. Please. All right. All right. Man. Boy, I'm glad to find that joker. That's a nice one right there. He may not be perfect. And he may have some little nicks out of him here and there, but hey. I've got blemishes too. Let's keep looking. I'm, I'm soon running out of daylight and I've only got like four minutes of video left. Later. Guys, I've only got about 10 minutes of video uh, to make this clean up. So I'm just gonna pan over these. Of course, you can just tell what they are. Just brokes, midsections, and bases without tips, and tips without bases, broken tools. This is a big old, it's got polished spots all over it. Big old piece of quartz. Possibly used as a hammer stone. I want to show you this one because look at the Gore-Tex. You got Gore-Tex in, in two or three different places around it. But around the, the main core right there of it, it's, 
been picked up. I believe that was Hammerstone. More heavy. And of course big big choppers. Found a piece of pottery today. That's only the second piece I found down there. Both of them being about the same size. And just scrapers and turtle backs and you know face. And a lot of these just got edge work on them. And of course you got your, your heartbreaker, big sandy. And these are just got some chigger bites on them. This one's pretty much complete and your blunts. And that would have been paper thin. It's got a little reworked tip on it. Blunts and then even that long one there is blunted. That's a funny looking shaped one. That's a complete artifact. Pretty little pink blunt, orange, whatever you want to call it. It's had a good day. I'm not going to handle a lot of these. Uh, you've seen me when I found them. I believe that one's a Benton. It's a little birdie. I believe this in here is a pine tree. Serrations. I believe it's translucent too. Yeah, pretty much. And here's another big sandy. It'll be translucent for sure. I can't see nothing when I look up in that sun because it does go blind. That's a, not the best material. It's a it's a hornstone, but. You can tell it's a, it's kind of a uh, brittle, a real brittle. Pretty good capena knife. You see me find this one. It's pretty good size. And here's my pink point. I really like getting this translucent. That's a pretty piece. And I found a bunch of uh, notched, you know, corner notched pieces. Big sandies, brewer tons, whatever they might be. I'm going to try to get out and go hunting again today. I'm making this clean up this morning. I've got some sunlight and got it outside. And I'm hoping to bring you some more stuff. Pretty little, good little piece. This is a nice piece too. I believe it's a Benton. It's made well. It's not just real big, but it's probably two inches. That's a pretty little piece. There's a pretty big sandy. Not sure what that is. I still like it though. Let's see me find this long stemmed Adana. This is a really nice piece right here. It's a small, but it's a nice one. And we got this. Uh, I believe it's a. I'm trying to think it's like an Adena Robbins or something like that. Made out of hornstone. It's a nice piece. It's a good size. This sun's casting shadows and I can't tell where I need to hold it. 
I just about stepped over this one. But it's a nice one. And this one was the last that I found. That shoulder right there, or that bar, it's not broke off, it's, it's just worked off. They apparently resharpened that one side, you know, down to the point that they, they got that barb. I believe it's a motley. And it was found on this very same end of the field where I found that other big one the other day that I was trying to think was a motley, which looked like a Snyder's, but quite a bit of difference in the two, but uh, nevertheless... This and I'm confident, you know, is a motley. But I'm going to get off here and see if I can't go find something else for us to look at. And uh, I appreciate y'all commenting and watching. I hope to get you some more stuff just as quick as I can. I've had a good time down at the old stomping grounds this year. I found probably two five-gallon buckets full of stuff if I had it all put together since May. And I know, you know, it's hard for a lot of folks to believe, uh, but I don't, rec I don't recall over two pieces being broke in modern times. And I showed you one of those on the last cleanup. It was a little flake blade with a base broke off of it. Everything else is just old patina, on top of old patina. Someone asked me an honest question saying how long you think it takes for the patina over? Could it have possibly been broken, you know, 100, 150 years ago? And uh, I know it was an honest question, <clears throat> but I'll tell you what I've done. I found a piece uh, last year in my dovetail field that had been, you know, broken and they re-napped it around the edge it looked like it was done yesterday. So I know there's no Indians been around here since 1868, and that thing's been in the ground for 144 years. And the patina looks like, uh, the patina difference looks like it was done yesterday. <clears throat> so none of these got fresh breaks. All of them was done in ancient times because uh, if that was the case, I'd be fine. And they're pulling a 10,000-pound disc or a 5,000-pound disc with a 30,000-pound tractor. And if all this was done with a mule, you know, those brakes, why then, I, you know, why ain't I finding none now that was done with the heavy equipment for sure? But I'm not. <clears throat> all these were broken by the Indians, whether being made or hafted, you know, old old ones that they broke and rehafted. And I'm not saying that to, you know, to for an argument. Just my just my take on it. And of all places to. Uh, have a, a decent, you know, chance to study. It's my old stomping grounds. Look at it. There's stuff there. You'd have time to study it if you wanted to. Unlike a place where you find just a random find, you can't really go by nothing when you see that. But anyway, hey, listen, guys, I appreciate you watching, and this is not a teacher. This is not an education class, by the way. There's just some people that's got some honest questions, and I'm willing to offer some honest answers, you know, the best of my opinion. Thank you all for watching. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>